It's the People's Podcast Show with Adrian Biddle. Melissa Bartlett. And your boy Kerry Bigsby. It's your show. So tell us what you want to talk about. It's that the round table podcast show. Woo! Gotta get comfortable in this chair because this is gonna be a good show right here. <laughs> Got some sweet iced tea sitting here to the side. The mic is up and ready. I got these beautiful people right here. Oh, my goodness. Welcome, welcome, welcome. It is the family show, as uh, my illustrious brother would say. It's the People's Podcast. It is the At The Roundtable Podcast show. And I need to start this thing off, of course, always introducing the one who keeps us in line. The she try to. Of she try to. She yes. tries to. Yes, it is. <laughs> Melissa Pitbull. Bartlett, what's going on, sis? Hello. Happy Wednesday, hump day, middle of the week. ATRT day. I am here. You know I need my podcast. I need my ATRT family. And I am super, super excited when we have guests, but extra elated when it's a queen. You know, because I need somebody to help me balance these guys out sometimes. But I am great. I am wonderful. Looking forward to the show. Looking forward to all of the knowledge and the experience and just the positivity that our guest has for us today. And, um, you know, I got to throw it to my boy. That A money number one. The delectable decibels. Ain't that what you call them? <laughs> uh, oh man, you got another post. Uh, no, no, uh, uh, the one who gives me joy with messing with and always is a good sport about it. My brother, Adrian Biddle, aka A Money. Hey, I appreciate it, sis, and my brother. I'm glad to be back here in the number with y'all, too. Uh, last week was banging. I really enjoyed being in studio with you both. It was a, that was a real cool moment, natural high. Look forward to doing that again a little bit more often as well. Yes, um, and last but not least, uh, the, the man that stirs the drink, the conductor himself, Mr. Culture CD. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank y'all, everyone, who joined us tonight on At The Roundtable Podcast show. Um, I was thinking about this show today. And it, it, to me, it, it really means a lot to have this sister on this show. And the reason why is because there is so much she does. I think she is like literally that she wrote. I'll just go ahead and put it out there. I mean, for the work that she's doing in, in her area to now, when I found out she's actually coming to the QC area mm -hmm. for a very, very important symposium and seminar, I was like, man, yeah, we got to have her on the show. So without further ado, we get to introduce to the masses, to our ATRT family, Dr. Shauna Whitehead, the founder CEO of Destined to Succeed. Snap, snap, snap. snap. Oh. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I wish I had the little button to just punch and it'd be like that huge applause. I know, right? You deserve all that. <laughs> Take a yes. And the fan yes. And everything. So I love it. Welcome to that Roundtable Podcast show. Thank you. Thank you. I'm so glad to be a part of this wonderful podcast y'all some amazing people doing some the, uh, at the round table doing some uh, amazing things so it's just a blessing and an honor to be a part of this and i just want to give a shout out to my publicist my friend tangy white thank you sweetheart Woo -woo. thank you tangy love thank you tangy, tangy. <laughs> Yes, indeed. We love Tangy. Shout yeah. out to Charlie, too. She just joined us on At The Roundtable Podcast show. Hey, Charlie. Charlie, this is going to be an amazing show. And the reason why I'm going to tell you, as well as anybody else who is popping in right now, because this incredible queen has done so much, so much when it comes to entrepreneurs, when it comes to encouraging individuals to be their best selves, 
the list can go on and on. So I want you to definitely chime in. I want you to tune in. I want you to tell everybody about this show because you are about to get a mini seminar, literally, right here, right now. So now I'm gonna sit back because I already know Melissa's, you know, Melissa's about to do her thing. So I'm gonna sit back and, you know, let the queens take over this show. <laughs> so in case for, you know, those who don't know, I'm gonna step in and just say this Saturday, starting at 10 a.m., if you want, if you need guidance, information, resources on how to be successful, um, you need some type of network, collaborations, any and all things, anything you could think of to spark, promote, grow you as a business person, as an entrepreneur, this is the seminar. This is the convention. This is where you want to be. I'm going to let Dr. Shauna, okay, get into details. But before we get into that, uh, just give our family a little bit of your background. Um, and for family who don't remember her, we did have her on the show before. Um, so I'm curious to hear how much has happened since the last time we had her on the show because she had at least two to three projects that she was just beginning. Yeah. And I am just, I'm, I'm on, I'm got my ears are tuned. I'm, I'm, I'm be quiet, Dr. Shauna. You go ahead and you do it. You tell the people about you. Oh, praise God. Well, first of all, I want to say I give all honor and praise to the Lord because without him, y'all, mm -hmm. we, couldn't, we couldn't do nothing. So that's right. the one thing I do want to say. And the second thing I want to say is that he's just using me for to, using me as a vessel to help people to walk into purpose and destiny. You know what I'm saying? So with that being said, right now, God has blessed us to have eight businesses, different businesses. And um, it's a lot of work, but um, I thank and praise God for the opportunity that he's given me not only to, you know, just uh, maximize my potential because you know, it's nothing too hard for God, but then also, um, also being able to help other people to walk in purpose and also be able to give jobs to those people who maybe couldn't get a job or who maybe counted themselves out. So I'm, I'm just excited about what God is doing. And the thing I love about it is, um, I can help our people. You said eight businesses. Yeah. How how in the world did everybody you find time? And I, I want to know. God, I did every everybody. They go, how you doing this? And it's I don't know. I guess because I'm Jamaican, you know, Jamaicans have many jobs. But, <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> yeah. But don't you know? The thing is, I love what I do. I'm very passionate about what I do, and and as and we all know that you have to have multiple streams of income. Y'all know this, you know, one job or one income just won't do. So what I did was, you know, as God downloads things to me that I know that I can do that I'm passionate about, he just puts it all together and he makes, he's, he allows it to work. Interesting. So I, let me, let me, let me pick it back off of what you just got through saying. Mm -hmm. So, so how, how was it any difficulties trying to find what you were passionate in to make a business out of it to generate these in these additional income streams or what well, advice could you give people who are interested in doing that well first of all yes it was very it was very very hard because mm -hmm. i've always been a business owner since i was in my 20s and so if i tell y'all i have had every business you can name from daycare centers to um, you know, a church. I have my head of my own church. Uh, you know, I to put all that together. Um, so when I do businesses for a living, put people business together. Some people think that it's just like, oh, she's just doing. No, I have had cleaning company, nail shop. I got my nail license. Uh, hair. I mean, nail nail shop. I had a beauty shop. You know, anything that God told me I could do, I I stepped out on faith and did it. Because we know faith and fear doesn't mix. So with that being right. said, um, I just, I stepped out on faith. And then from there, um, 
he gave me other creativity things that I was able to do from a transportation company to, you know, Destined to Succeed Institute, where with Destined to Succeed Institute, not only do we have an institution where we do job ready, readiness certification, but we also do job placement, drug testing. We do business startup and setup from start to finish, from website design, logo design, um, um, training your employees, because I have a master's in HR and, and, and organizational leadership. So, you know, training and de developing your pro um, employees, marketing, um, drug testing, credit repair, all these things that I've added to my program, entrepreneurship. Uh, skills to pay the bills, you know, just different things as we have an organization got downloaded and I was able to do that. And then from there opened up my other business, which DTS is employment. We have an employment agency. So we don't just employ people in Milwaukee, even though we have two locations, one in Milwaukee and one in Racine, but we employ people around the world because the guy said, I'm going to be global. So I had to start thinking globally, even though I haven't obtained it yet. But I act like I, I orchestrate my businesses globally. And especially now that COVID is over, you know, you're able to market so much the masses with, the, um, with um, you know, technology. And then from there, we were able to open up um, we already had second chance transportation. Then we were able to open up um, It Takes a Village Foundation reentry program, which my reentry program, I've already graduated 3,073 people now. And so they don't have to be in person to take my eight day free, eight day reentry course. They can do it online around the world. And we, have, we do have online students. And then from there, birthed our school, Destined to Succeed Academy. You feel what I'm saying? So that, and we have people for K-5 through 12th grade and then an adult high school diploma program where we around the world. So people from Atlanta, if you go to my website, people from Atlanta, people from Africa, people from Arizona, Milwaukee, you name it, have graduated from my program and are enrolled in school right now. Cause we didn't want to just make it just for here. You feel what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And then from there, burst out my, um, 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 a travel agency, which I did that last year because when people want to fly out to, to come to graduation, they can use my travel agency. You feel me? And Dr. so the white then head stars. Me. Yes. And then Ooh. also I have a, um, a radio station. We're not all what? the way done with it. We're going to kick it off, but it's called WIYD Internet, Internet Radio where we'll be in six countries and things of that nature. And the reason why we wanted to do that is because when people come to us and they want to open up a business, it's already hard in opening up a business. Well, I want people to be able to do podcast shows, um, advertisement, all that without getting picked. Y'all feel me? Without, <laughs> you know, spending so much money on advertisement and you don't have yeah. it like that. So, you know, guys, Said, I need you to be a blessing in the season and maximize every opportunity. So from that, I always had SNS properties. I always had a property. So all the businesses I just named, if you count, you'll go, she really do have eight businesses and I'm not done. I'm getting ready to open up something else too because my vision is not for me. The vision that God has given me is for the world. You know, all these different programs that you put them under one component, which we have them under one location or, you know, in a, one building, but I have two different locations. And then I will be putting one in Charlotte because it's not about me. It's about these people that really need our programs. Wow. You're literally your own business directory. Yes. And I have a gift of entrepreneurship mm -hmm. and I do it. And I'm going to say this. I'm not saying boastfully and braggingly because it has not been easy. It's not easy always being an entrepreneur. That's just facts. But the thing is, I really trust God. And I'm, I'm the thing, the key thing that keeps me afloat, and I'm going to say this, is not grants because I don't get grants. I don't, I'm not saying I've never gotten any, but I haven't gotten no million dollars, million dollar grant. I don't get grants. You know what I have that keeps me different? I have faith and I have vision and I pay my tithes everything that comes to my business or me, I pay my tithes. I give God what is his. And he promised me that if I do his business, he gonna take care of me. And he's been doing that. 
is where people don't understand. They be like, how's he? And I just give them tools. So when I when I do seminars and I teach and, and, and bring other people, other uh, like-minded people onto my seminars, I give them every tool that God has given me. And I tell them it's obtainable. You don't have to be in debt to be a business owner. You don't understand what I'm saying? God, if you have the vision, as long as you have the vision, God will meet that vision. To The, the provision is going to line up with that vision. Hear me and hear me well. As long as you are willing and able to do what he told you to do, he going to work everything out. And you cannot be scared to step out on faith because we know faith and fear what? Don't me. Don't me. Yes, indeed. Now let me drink to it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Boy, that's powerful right there. Yeah. That is powerful. She said, enlarging the territory. Yeah. And I don't mind sharing with people. See, the thing is, if we want, because you know what, back in the day, y'all, we're going to have real conversation, right? Back mm -hmm. in the day, y'all already know there was, um, what was it? Um, that city that was uh, the, all black and black folks were soaring. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Back yep. in uh, the 50s or 60s, what was it? 50s or 60s, something like that. And we can be like that today if we don't just have, if we don't, we can be like that now if we would learn to just help each other and give people the tools that they, they need. Everything ain't about money because the thing is, what God has for you was for you. And let me just say this. It's a lot of money out here to be made. It's a lot of money out here. We don't never have to, you know, not talk or never have to give people. I'm not saying get, cast all your pearls upon the swine, but I'm saying it's, it's, it's you can give people nuggets to help them get started without always, you know what I mean? Definitely. Yep. Yeah, it's oh. a, it's a, uh, if we could ever as a people unite, if we yeah. could ever understand that we do not have to be crabs in a barrel. If we could ever understand that we control the economy and the only group of people who are just the least, we're not in the game, even though we're the ones that, that fund it, that sponsor it. We keep putting ourselves in a disadvantage because we keep putting our money into other people, other groups of, of races, other businesses. And, you know, that the entrepreneur of the African-American is twofold. Um, you have to be a professional. You have to make sure that you are have all of your T's and, and I's dotted and crossed. You have to make sure that you are being and providing the service or the product of a standard and of a quality. And we as Black people that are going to be the customers, that are going to be the ones that are purchasing, have to understand that everything doesn't come to a discount. Because if you will go to Mark Jacobs or you'll go out to South Park and you'll spend, you know, $1,300 on a purse and then an additional $900 for a strap because it says Louis Vuitton on it. But then a young sister or brother who makes genuine leather purses because they charge $100, you're like, really? $100? Why is that? This guy, this woman knows you. He cares and she cares about you. Get this product out for her people or his people. Uh, we have to be better than that. We have to stop looking for discounts. And and we definitely, I mean, Tulsa, Oklahoma, Dr. Shauna, uh, where Black Wall Street, where we had oh. our own businesses, we were entrepreneurship, we were sustained. You want to know why we recycle our own dollars? Oh. We do not recycle our own dollars. We do not keep our dollars in our communities, funding our communities. And so what Dr. Shauna has done, and I've always admired, is that you have given not only the nuggets, but you created a, a, a handbook that you say, hey, read freely. Go to my website. Click on this link. Click on this link. This is how you enroll. And all of your programs to help the communities around and global are free. And if there's a cost, you're you're mindful of your demographic and your audience. So, you know, it's sometimes it's about people trying to make money. I mean, yeah, that's what you go into business for. You go into business to make money. Let's not forget that. But at the same time, if you know that you can help bring up somebody else, then why not? Why not? Jay-Z says a line in one of his songs, he says, we don't measure wealth by how much we have. 
because you're not wealthy if the people next to you ain't wealthy. Real it's when talk. the people standing next to you is wealthy, then you can say, I'm wealthy. And that doesn't mean that you remove yourself from a certain group of people to get with the people who's already there. It means that you have brought the whole crew around you up by giving them what they need to make their own money. Yep, I agree. That's it. I agree. Mm -hmm. Teach a man to fish rather than giving him a fish. That's right. A and then I'm gonna say this too. No, no shade or nothing, but we let too many people into our communities. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? It is no reason why certain cultures should be having bar, I mean liquor stores in our communities and stores in our community. That should be black owned. You understand what I'm saying? And like you just alluded to saying when you say when you just said it stated that oh people don't want to patronize your business because they like oh she costs too much you know what i had to learn i had to learn to stop dumbing myself down i said you know like you say you said people pay for whatever it. they want you'll go buy a wig and pay 850 dollars for it put it on your head instead of but when somebody say okay i charge xyz giving you a tool that you can not only make money from, but pass it on down to your, your children and other people. You don't want to invest mm -hmm. in that. So what I've learned is it's okay. God told me, don't look at the numbers because people always watching you, even if they don't never say, oh, I'm doing this. They're watching what you do. So my thing is what I do to help me keep my mental right, I stay focused. And when God say, I want you to come here and do here, even if I got one person, the Bible say obedience is better than sacrifice because you don't know that being mm -hmm. obedient, that what, how God going to bless you. Now I'm about to throw y'all a nugget because I have been obedient to what God told me and I'm just putting it out there. Only person that know this is my daughter and Tangie, which I just, it just happened today. Um, mm -hmm. um, you know, I had, I had, a, I had a room and I, I have a room and house. This gentleman that I met today, he said, he came up here. He said, I want to do some business with you. And I mm -hmm. said, okay, His, he, he gave my re-entry program a six bedroom house today. We finalized the paperwork. Actually, I'm working on some stuff in my office, but he was like, it's painful. I want you to have this house. I said, what? He said, because the stuff that you do, and I know that you're going to use it to get people housing. So what I'm saying is, every even even for those people who don't believe in what I'm doing or might look back and say, I don't want to do it. <laughs> I keep moving. And that's the mentality that you got to have because God is the one that blesses you. And you don't know when 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 he going to bless you because your faith in it. So I'm here to tell anybody, if, if that's okay for those entrepreneurs, you know what I'm saying? If people don't pay, um, support you, it's okay. Because when, when Jesus was in his own hometown, they didn't support him. But what did he do? He had to move around with it. That's you understand right. what I'm saying? So God told me, Dr. Whitehead, I need you to go to Charlotte. Every city that I'm going to is because he told me to go there. Mm. I love some shouting. I love y'all down there. Y'all got it truly going yeah. on. Yeah. But it ain't, it ain't about you. Love you too. Love. God said people are assigned to you down there because it's some people that need help and they need to tap in to what you got and not just what I got, but the phenomenal, the phenomenal speakers that's speaking there. That's going to be pouring in. We pouring in. We're going to be pouring in to y'all. This seminar for only $40.99 normally would have cost $800. Because if you look at Erica Lane, the Erica Lane, hey Erica, when you look at her from a land, I mean from Char um, New York, she is a millionaire. Right. I mean, a mo I mean, I mean, I ain't making it up. I'm a, a real life millionaire, and her and I have the number one best selling book on Amazon. She the one showed me the game, said, "You trust me, you know, I'm gonna make you an Amazon number one um seller," and and, and she did. You understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So for her to be on my platform, who charges. <laughs> like three thousand dollars to speak it was like dr whitehead i believe in what you're doing let's do it let's get it then my daughter who's an entrepreneur who's 27 who has her own makeup line who is the next rihanna you understand what i'm saying for this young girl to come here and pour into what god has given her and, and who travels with me around the world because we're going around the world you know what i'm saying that's a blessing and then you have patrick who was the former mayor who is full with knowledge. 
Patrick and Kennedy. I just met this brother, and I'm talking about he poured into me. And he was like, I, I want to be a part of what you're doing because people need to know how to sit at the table. Where are you at? Now, I'm over the NAACP for the state of Wisconsin for the economic division. But even me, I'm learning so much from my constituents. I didn't even know how to sit at no table. All this money coming into this state and didn't know how to tap into it. So as, uh, as an entrepreneur, we're going to show you, Patrick is going to show you how to tap into that money in Charlotte. Because mm -hmm. there's a lot of money out there in Charlotte. And guess what? A closed mouth what? Let me just say this. Let me keep it real. We got to be real now. Be Every real. culture ain't going to give you the plug. It's out here for you to get your own plug and give it to our people. Now, let me drink to that. Mm. All right now. <laughs> well, I'm loving this right here. And then you got Lonnie. Let me just say this, babe. You got Lonnie, who is a real estate guru yep. down in Charlotte. Mm -hmm. And I met him. He was like, oh, yeah, let's do some business together. You understand yeah. what I'm saying? Then you got um, Jaleesa, Jaleesa, who created, Jaleesa. who does apps for businesses, and every business need an app. Because I told her I want her to do mine. So just showing us, young, showing young people, it's like a mixture, giving you tools on how to be successful. And then we got nuggets for you. I got nuggets that I'm going to be giving out to really show you how to maximize your money that we got in, our, in my book that other cultures don't want you to know about and when the different um different entities come to my build my business i show them these plugs on how to maximize your money and triple it legally now you gonna catch that one you understand <laughs> what i'm saying you gonna these young brothers that's entrepreneurs y'all know what i'm talking about i gotta speak yep. you know what i'm yep. talking about i get them up in here and i show them how to maximize their money you know why because i'm sick of them going to jail about stupid stuff and people we we got to educate our young because they are future generation and i'm passionate about that let me show me how to flip my money and make it where i can get thousands. if i put a little bit in there show me how i can get thousands of dollars legally without have to looking over my back come on now we got to yes. teach our young people that's this. right that's you right do. i think that's a, what my, it makes me so i marry you so much dr sean is that you meet people where they are because you have some people who are willing to to be um a help assistant um uh, influence engage but they still want to have a certain standard or a certain group a certain demographic that they want to offer that assistance to and you literally are like if you want to learn if you want to work if you want to make money if you want to better yourself i'm your person and you don't care about a past or even sometime present somebody has to have that point in their life when they pivot and you are there to help them do that and i really like that about you, you and your business thank you, thank you. And I like the fact that you mentioned in regards to business. Well, you actually mentioned a couple of things that a lot of people need to be listening. If you're listening to the show, we have Dr. Shauna Whitehead with Destined to Succeed. She's on here. She's dropping nuggets, as she would say. But she's going to be here in the QC as well this weekend. One of the things, though, I like you said is that it's, it's a group effort. And I think that's one thing that a lot of times we miss when it comes to being in business. We think that everything falls on our shoulders and we've got to have the answer right then and there. It is nothing wrong, y'all, to have a mentor. It is nothing wrong to sit beside someone such as Dr. Whitehead, to sit beside of Patrick Graham, to sit beside Jaleesa, to sit beside Lonnie. These are individuals that I know and to be able to interact with them and just even as friends when we're talking when you hear certain things out of them you get an aha moment and i think i love when you said that it is nothing wrong with learning from experienced individuals that have who's gone through all the headaches the trials the tribulations the stuff on their back and them coming to you and saying hey let me share this with you we don't do that a lot of time as a community right we don't share we, we we act as though if i tell you this you gonna take out my plate you 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 taking food off my plate you taking money out my pocket you thief and it's not that it's the fact that by us sharing with each other and just to let you know doctor 
these two individuals they pour into so many people as well but by doing so we all come up that's it we all that, come up. and you know what the thing is that's that slave mentality that's that slave. when you have your fist like this can anything get in it can anything get in it but when it's know. like this things can get in it and we cannot be like that let me tell you so what was yours is yours god right. god god said eyes have not seen nor ears have heard what he could do to a person totally committed to him and so what i did what i do is when i do my seminars and i'm telling y'all our seminars is going to be life-changing we're going to have food and fellowship we're going to love on each other because it's mm. our time y'all it's our time to step and walk in prosperity to walk in purpose and to be in a room full of people like-minded that that we when i tell you gonna set that room on fire when i tell you you're gonna be like oh my god y'all need to come out man i have I, every seminar i've had in person even on zoom people said wow this was a life-changing seminar because i let god give it to me through me and everybody that's on it we pray before we go and i said let god mm -hmm. use you let your hair down let people know the good the bad and the ugly with entrepreneurship because a lot of these young people no disrespect to anyone but it's a lot of stunting in front no instagram it's a lot of stunting in front oh i made a million dollars in one day and i had to do nothing the bible the bible say you want to eat you gotta work come that's on now right. now everybody right. some people might have had that that you know testimony but that's not everybody testimony and that's not realistic you know what I'm saying? If you want your business to thrive, you have to put in the work. If you see yourself as a millionaire, you got to get around millionaire thinking people. You cannot get around stinking thinking folks and think, oh, I'm going to be, because that negative energy don't lie. <laughs> so if I know I want to be a millionaire and I might not have obtained it yet, but God said it's mine, I'm going to start getting around millionaire people that's going to help me get to where I need to go. I'm just being honest. So I tell people, you got to change. First of all, you got to show where you want to go. So if you know you're trying to get here. You need to come to this seminar because you got people that's really doing it. When when Anani told me, and don't, don't shake, he told me he was a millionaire and he is a, a, a real estate guru and got a construction company. I said, oh, yeah, boy, I need your knowledge. I need your life. So every city that I'm going to, if you're listening and you want to be a part of this seminar and you 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 got a, a voice that God wants you to share, you need to inbox me because I'm not like that. I want to get around people. But we are, the Bible say, iron sharpens iron. Right. I don't right. know everything. So if you can show me some stuff, I can bring it back here. And then I'm going to show you some stuff. We are partnering to each other. And this is how a community can grow and thrive. It ain't all about, oh, boo, she got this. Ooh, it ain't about that. Because when we die, we can't take none of that with you. That's right. Only thing that's going to last is what God told you to do at the end of the day. Your, your, your education don't mean nothing. But who have you changed? Who lives have you changed? And that, that's what means a lot to me. When I can see somebody, when they interview me on the news, and this gentleman came to my program, and he, and I can show, send the clip to y'all. He came to me, he was broken. He was robbing banks. He was in 50s old, robbing mm. banks, in and out of jail, broken. He came to my eight day program um, and, and we, we vibe. And I said, I, he said, I want my high school diploma. I put him in my program and 45 days, he had his high school diploma, walked across stage where his friends seen him. Then we helped him open up a business called Testimonials. He has a, um, well, he helping those people um, that um, need, need that help when they get out of jail, need housing, all that type of stuff. We mm -hmm. put his business together. Then I said, I'm gonna help you get this bounce back grant where you can get $10,000. He got that in February, no, in January, end of January, $10,000. And then we put him in college and he just got 11,000 for his financial aid. Now let me drink to it. He's in school right now. He don't have to rob that's a bank no more. You feel that's, that's what I'm talking about. Now I could have just been like, mm, I ain't gonna say that. No, this brother, now he's able to go and be that father for his children. Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm saying? This is how we raise a king to understand who he is when he was lost by the wayside. Not those same women that was like, Ugh. now they like, Ugh. sometimes we got to speak life to people. That's right. You know what I'm saying? That's right. Mm -hmm. That is true. There's there's two uh, <laughs> hair stores down here, Dr. Shauna. Uh -huh. There's two, two hair stores that aren't black owned. 
that had once opened a second location. And just so you can understand the growth that we probably have allowed them to do, um, they've moved into an old H.H. Gregg store front. Mm -hmm. You will know how big H.H. Gregg's were. That's going to be their second location. Okay. And then one of the other stores, they have um, expanded. So they used to have one suite. They've expanded not to two, but to four in the shopping center that they were in. And nothing against them. Glad they have success. However, there's not one black hair store that's that large in this area so now let me let me challenge you this so that's why they need to come to my seminar because we can help them get one open do you understand what i'm saying it mm -hmm. is a lot of money let me just say this for me to meet mr patrick who's the former mayor to tell me dr white here we gonna connect because i know how to tap into money now i want y'all to hear this and i don't mind sharing it i don't because my thing is god said is mine i i asked tangy i said tangy it really bothers me that we have sex offenders that's coming out of the, out of out of jail. Now I'm not saying everybody didn't deserve to be in there. That's not what I'm saying. But we have some sex offenders who, you know, went with a female. She lied about her age, and they got locked up, and now they call sex offenders. I had some cousins that happened to. But when these people get out of prison, and you mean to tell me they have nowhere to go? You don't want them around the, the children. Of course, I can understand that. They have nowhere to go. So you got these people out here like leprosy. So my thing is that I'm trying to challenge and God showed me, I want to get some partners together where we buy some land and we start building houses and, and create a whole community for our, our, our sex offenders. See, it's, it's outside the box. I know everybody got quiet on that one. Mm -mm. Putting, oh, that's putting, interesting. Putting stores up in there. You understand what I'm saying? Because these people are getting, these people are people too. And not only that, if you, my thing is, my, my bishop always said this, if you want to see the change, you create the change. So y'all talking about that, the white people came, I'm just going to say what it is. They came into the hood and, and, and buying off the hood. Somebody in that hood needs to have a, uh, some type of meeting or, and come to my seminar and say, how can we get some stores and take our hood back? This is what I was just saying. That is ridiculous. I got, you know, and then. And where my building that is right here in, in Milwaukee, we have, I didn't even know this guy was selling his liquor store and he sold it to another Iranian. No disrespect to my Iranian brothers and sisters, but all the people that come in the store is black. You don't see not one Afghanistan or Indian person come there. So therefore it should have been something in this community who want to buy this store. This is what I'm saying. So in order for us to get our strength back, in order for us to be to get our communities back, we got to get knowledgeable and get around people and don't be scared to, to step out of faith and, and get some of these dreams and aspirations out that you're looking for. So it can come back to our communities and train our people on how to not only be homeowners, keep your environment up, you know, train our young, little young thugs that want to be on the corner. Let me show you how to be a businessman. Because I figured like this, if you can sell dope, let's just keep it what it is. If you can sell dope and do transactions, you are a business owner. You you understand what I'm saying? This is true. You are a business owner. And for me, I am tired of our people going to jail for stupid stuff. I'm tired. I know if you're a woman and you want to be a stripper, that's you. No knocking the stripper. But it's more to yourself than just being a stripper or a sock. We got to go back to our communities and teach our women how to be business owners and and not just oh let me get a business let me get a business uh, i i made a profit of twenty thousand dollars let me get a fifty thousand dollar car when that's Woo! not in your budget Woo! you better start talking you better start talking your stack am i talking right put that you better say it train and develop your staff without your staff you don't have a business value yourself thank god for your staff Without your staff, you don't have a business. And people, and, and this right here don't do that. So this God bless them with it. And that's what that's what Erica gonna be talking about. Mm -hmm. Erica lost three million dollars one time. So she know about that game. 
You understand mm. what I'm saying? So th that's what I'm saying. We have to, if we, you, you, it's so much to entrepreneurship, but we have the tools that we can help people to not make those same mistakes. We can help people, show them how to maximize their money and offshore accounts and things of that nature and really walk in wealth. Because mm. when you wealthy or when you got it like that, you don't brag about it. Come on now. You don't know, right. you don't see Jay Z and Beyonce every time they get a car. Look at me, Instagram. I got a car. That's sure you don't know how to have money. Come mm -hmm. on now, let's drink to uh -uh. it. Uh -uh. Yeah. I'm not sure you got to stop. I'm no, gonna I tell you, our people with. don't know. They don't know the difference between buying and affording. They don't know what a budget is. Um, those three things right there. And the key thing that you said, the key word you said was wealth. No one ever sat down and talked to the black community, you know, about wealth up until recently. And thank God for people like you and the panel that will be here in Charlotte on yep. Saturday to give that knowledge. Because, you know, when you're 50, 50 plus, it's a little late. It's not too late, but it's a little late. Because you're just learning. Nine times out of 10, your kids and the generations after you are already in their 30s, 40s, maybe. And then you trying to help them. And now we rushing. We rushing. We trying to catch up. And the earlier, the better. The more you have, the more knowledge you can share. We need to start talking to these kids 10 years old. 11 years old, 12 years old, start talking. And you know, people. my book, my book that I have out, mm -hmm. you read my book, my, my book is for anybody that's seven years old can read my book and open up a business and understand what type of business you want to open up. You got people that say, I want an LLC. What does the LLC mean? It's other different types of formats than LLC. You got to know what it means so it'll put you in a different tax bracket. My book right now, my daughter and I book, Sunday and shout out to the Sunday and Weddle book is in colleges right now. When God said, I want you to write it, I was like, me? I wrote, I put my oomph into this book because I know I've been in business so long and I made mistakes. Nobody sat me down and said, I didn't go to school for business. I went to school for other stuff. And nobody set me down and said, Shauna, don't do this, don't do that. Getting get the IRS bill when you first open up, $87,000. You understand what I'm saying? Nobody taught me that. So everything that I learned, I said, Lord, I want to show somebody else so they do not make that same mistake. And that's that's the reason why we are in business to help other people. You know what I'm saying? You, you, and again, with employees, you have to develop your employees. I can't, I can't stress that enough. If you know you making money, pour into your employees, appreciate your employees, love on your employees, let them know they mean something. Because when they know they mean something, they're gonna, they're gonna step up to the plate. You understand what I'm saying? And then when you're in business, don't look at what nobody else is doing. It's okay to have friendly competition, but don't be so focused on what somebody else is doing because I always say stay in your lane. Stay right. in your lane because you don't know what they had to do to get to. Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And I, I just try not to do that. I said, Lord, let me stay in my lane. Let me stay focused on what you gave me. Let me mind my own business. Like somebody said, mind your own business. I think it's Denisha. Mind your own business that pays you. Mind your business mm. and be content where God has you at. You know, thank God for, you might not be where up here, but thank God that you ain't down here. And every little celebration, I thank God. I do. And then I, and then I trust them. I said, Lord, it might not look like this, but I trust you because you said, you told me to do this, and I'm doing what you said. And as long as you stand in the will of God, doing the word of God, he got mm -hmm. your back. I can't stress that enough. And my other last point, I am going to say, um, you know, if you really want to know how to really run your business, read the book of Proverbs. Proverbs give you every instruction on how to really be a good business person. And, and pray about the different people that you come in contact with. Everybody ain't fun. Everybody can't be in your circle. 
I know you want to bring Lulu and Boo Boo and Foo Foo, but that don't mean that's what, what God told you to do. And the name of my book uh, with me and my daughter, because I have three of them out and I have a new one just getting ready to release. But the one is called A Successful Way of Entrepreneurship and Obtaining Wealth. You can get it on Amazon. You can get it on my website. I will be bringing some down there on Friday. And then I will be at the Urban Reader on Saturday for a book signing. Because I'm bringing all three books, I, I, I'm a co-owner with all three books. Um, the, with also with Erica Lane, with, um, uh, what is it, Lord Jesus, um, um, a wealth, a rich, r r real talk, the, uh, the real talk book teaching you about wealth and and the mistakes on what not to make. So I'm gonna make sure I give you all those components, and then the other book is um, uh, passing out generational uh, curses. You know, breaking those generational curses. So I, I have a different variety of books, but my new book that's coming out is called um, uh, "The Life of a Real Entrepreneur: The Good, the Bad, and the Ugly," and that's just me. And Erica Lane is doing a forward in it, and we're giving you the real on entrepreneurship because God said you got to start letting people know the real because lack of knowledge, what people perish. People perish. Mm -hmm. And you got and people got to be honest. You got to tell people the truth. Don't give them no facade. You tell them your truth. That don't mean it might happen to them, but give them the truth and tell them this could happen if you don't do this. But stay focused on what God gave you because you're running a business, not a hobby. Whoop, whoop. Don't you dip. That's it. <laughs> That's it. Shouts out to Charlie too. She's been chiming in, boy. She asked, are any available yes. on Kindle and Audible? Yeah, I have Kindle. Yep. If I'm not mistaken, I do have Kindle. And then mm -hmm. we have Audible books as well. Um, I had my assistant set all that other good stuff up for me because, you know, I ain't going to lie. Thank God for the millennials, okay? I'm a yeah. visionary. I know how to get stuff done. But my daughter and them, they the computer. She had to teach me not to be intimidated by that computer. Because, you know, when you get a certain age, you get intimidated. And I was intimidated. My daughter had to check me. She said, get in there. And because I'll be like, y'all do this. And so a lot of my staff is my age. So she be training us and getting us together. So I love it. I love the young with the with the, with the the older. But, yeah. mm. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. Yeah, check it out because uh, you can actually go to Amazon, Barnes & Noble, Smashwords. And yep, we on Smashwords. Yeah. Barnes & Noble. Yep, we on Smashwords, Kindle, Barnes & Noble, Amazon. Um, did she do Walmart? I don't think she did the Walmart. And then you can go to my website too. Yep. The order, and we'll send it right to you. Or if you want the um, if you um, um, yep, if you want the um, the ebook, we'll send it to you right away. You can get it digital. Yep. Yep. Here's nice. the website as well: www.destinedtosucceed.com. Definitely oh. check it out. Definitely check it yep. out. Yep. Man, I'm gonna tell you what. I thought I was playing. When I said she was gonna get on here, the queen, and drop these nuggets, <laughs> drop so to God much be the glory. on y'all. It is, it is amazing. I, and, and 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 the people that you're lined up with, shouts out to each and every one of them because each one of them brings yes. so much significance to this particular uh, seminar. Um, and shouts out to Tangi as well because behind the scenes, Tangi be making some stuff happen. She's like oh, a little guru. Yes. She be moving stuff around, pieces and chess pieces and stuff like that. So shout out to her as well. Um, one question in regards to the business, and actually it's more along the line of the family, because you know, as a business owner, you know, you put in a lot of long nights, you put in a lot of sacrifice and things of that nature. But you've mentioned several times your daughter being a part of this journey to the point where she's carved out her own path as well. How did that happen? And, and from, you know, from your perspective, how did that when happen? I was, my, my, my daughter is my best friend. She's my only child, my only seed. Uh, my friend, Dr. Debbie, shout out to her last said to her, you know, your daughter was created for you. And she should have never told me that because I really believe it. <laughs> so, so, um, so I have poured everything in my daughter when she was a little girl. I told her, I said, you will be a successful businesswoman. So I treated her as a little girl. She used to have to go to school, uh, dressed up. You know, we she went to private school. I had her carrying briefcases. Uh, she was on the honor roll. So she was in K-5. She was the, mm. um, 
you know, people thought she was mixed because she went to all white school and we went, well, when she went to middle school, she, now when she was younger, she went to uh, all Christian Bible school. But when she went to middle school, we built in, in our suburb. And so she was all around white, you know, Caucasian people. And um, so she talked differently. You know, I talked like a thug, you know, I was saying what it is, you know? And so <laughs> she, um, I do. And so she, she, um, people thought she was mixed because she was so proper acting. I didn't know language had a, a color, but I'm just saying. But um, so she was so proper, and then she was, she, you know, she won states uh, for forensics um, of, the, of the state. And I just always told her that she was going to be a very wealthy girl. And so, you know, because we we did really good when she when she was young. I had a maid and all that. I've always had businesses, and I taught her as a black woman, you can have whatever. You don't never limit yourself. Knowledge is power. And my daddy taught, my parents taught me that. I want you to walk in any room and command it to change. Amen. And so, Amen. so I poured that in her. And so she's been working with me since she was nine years old. Mm -hmm. Nine years old. So I showed her at well, when I was doing properties, I own properties. I was showing her how to close on property. She was in every, I'm talking about every sitting in banks with me, all type of stuff. And so now when you look at her and you, when you meet her on Saturday, you're going to think she's like 40, but she only 27, but she's so smart. I mean, very intelligent and she knows about business. And so even when she was younger, when I had my TV show, the things y'all doing now, we did this 10 years ago. Mm -hmm. You understand? I had my own TV show. Ion Network wanted to pick me up, but they didn't want me to mention the name Jesus Christ. And so she was doing the behind the scenes, doing graphic designs with James. Arnold. Shout out to James doing graphic designs, help doing websites. She was doing websites back then at 13, 14. And so she didn't understand then why. Uh oh, driver. She didn't understand back then why I had her doing all that, but now mm -hmm. it's paying off. And she told me like recently, she said, I thank you for having me do that. Cause now mm -hmm. you are forced to be working with. Because now when people come here, they get a one-stop shop. And out of that, she birthed her own business and all the graphics and commercials. Um, so um, out of all that, out of all that, when you look at Dan Love Cosmetics, a lot of that stuff she did her own. And people go, oh, my God, it's so beautiful. She, she did a lot of that herself and so she's a fierce to be working with and so she tells me all the time mama i'm a billionaire and i said i know that god already showed me that he already showed me that but i poured everything in her everything and then we had a debate on facebook because i wanted to leave her my legacy and so i said y'all i was really upset she said mama i don't want your legacy god gave you that legacy i have my own legacy so i had to mm. kind of like what and so God said, don't you worry. When it's that time, your legacy going to be bad. So, you know, so I thank God for having that conversation because some kids don't want their parents' legacy. Right. You know right. what I mean? So. Mm -hmm. I love that right there. Man, that was Charlie too said, that's how you create the generational wealth and end the generational yep. curses. Yep. That's wow. true. Very true. Yep. We have to start making conversations about finances a part of our everyday instruction to our children just like brushing their teeth and in in learning how to put on your clothes um it's just that serious and, and honestly this is why we have to change the generational trajectory of either being wealthy or being poor because if you don't start talking to your kids about money but i think this it's about any type of parent um, my mother always told me Disciplining your child disciplines you. You can't talk to your kids about money when they know you spending what you don't have, you charging up charges, buying stuff that you don't need. Right. When the phone is ringing and you got them lying, telling them to tell them that you ain't here. When they know just by the way you push the end button that you send somebody to voicemail because you ain't got the money. A lot of times people don't want to talk about finances with their children. They don't want to talk about it with the young generation because they're ignorant themselves or they're practicing bad behaviors. But what better way to learn and to develop and create a foundation 
of financial literacy and wealth if you do it with your children. So they can understand that mommy and daddy's learning with me or auntie's learning with me. And I, be, I promise you, you'll have more respect and more ability for them to receive what they need to if you do it that way. And what I did was show my daughter, you're absolutely right. I showed her. I showed her what God can do. I showed her as a single mom because I was married and I got divorced. I showed her as a, and I got built my house, a, five, a half a million dollar home being a single mother. I showed her that you can do that. You don't have to pimp nobody. You don't have to get with no man for their money. You don't have to sleep with no man to get paid. Just be who God called you to be and trust your process. Work hard. Everything good going to come to you. And I had to show her that. And I showed her that now, even with my businesses now. I live by faith, not by sight. If it ain't in our budget, guess what? We don't do it. It ain't in my budget. I don't do it. I had to discipline myself. I don't care what they doing down the street. I don't do it here. Because my thing is, I have to pay cash for a lot of stuff. I don't mind using my credit cards here and there. But it's not, when you use your credit card, pay it off. You don't just live in that because what the world say, you owe no man nothing but love. And COVID showed all of us that when COVID happened. So many people, if it wasn't for that bailout, people with so many people would have been homeless. You understand what I'm saying? So yep. many businesses would have lost. Some big businesses did lost. So my thing is, I teach people, you don't live, you don't, it's okay to get credit, but you don't live beyond your means. You live, live under your means. You understand what I'm saying? Because mm -hmm. in due season, if you faint not, you're going to get what you won't come to you. That's why God said, write it down, make it blank. Keep your vision, keep it before you. But if it ain't the will of God, that don't mean it's for you. See, I don't do all that. I did that. And when I, when I, when y'all come to my thing, I'm gonna give a little bit of testimony. Been there, done that. God had to whoop me up, and I said I'd never do that again. So if it ain't in my bit, in my uh, thing, we don't do it. That's I right. have to teach biblical principles, and that's what God told me. And this season, I want you to give them my word. His word works. And that's why everybody can understand how I got all these business because I'm just doing His word. Mm -hmm. And when He give me money, I give it back to Him. Because That's he can it. trust me. And he said, every time you give me money, and like Cindy Trans said, if you want to see yourself a millionaire, start so. So now I sold thousands of dollars. Well, not thousands, but when I would somebody come, God, you want me to get some money? Okay, here you go. Here you go. This ain't my money. It's your money. Now look through what happened today. Dude came in here and blessed us with the house. That's it. You feel me? Let me drink to it. Drink let on me, that. Let me drink to it. You know how to be the hey, hey. 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 You know how I drink to uh, it. You know sip on that with you, too. Sip on that. What's going on, Mahogany? <laughs> Thank you for joining us on at the Roundtable Podcast Show, where we have Dr. Yes. Shauna Whitehead. Well, she's dropping knowledge in regards to business. Hoggy is another business owner as well. And 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 thank you for saying that because that's one of the things, not only from a family perspective, as far as you know, if we can't afford it, you know how I used to well, I don't know about y'all, but I know back in the day when I was a kid, McDonald's was a luxury, not a necessity. Yeah. But um, even with business, it's the same thing. A lot of times, young business owners or people who just starting out in business. Um, they tend to to spend money when where they shouldn't. And a lot of times when I'm talking to business, people who are starting their business and stuff, and I try to tell them the same thing, well, you know, hey, let's come up with a shopping list. Let's do this. Let's do this. And let's look at this and see what you need. One sister who does, um, she does a lot of, of promotional gear. And she was posting and she was saying the same thing to somebody. They were wanting to get on. They were wanting to buy all these T-shirts and all these caps and everything. She was like, you don't need a hundred t-shirts and a hundred caps. She said, how about you get something for you, your husband, you want to get something for your kid and maybe your best friend and be that walking billboard. I don't even feel right selling you 100 t-shirts and 100 caps and you haven't even started your business yet. So you're already spending money you don't even have. And then when it becomes, and the business don't become successful, you're looking at 98 t-shirts and 97 hats or whatever so it's, so it's very important that you know and i think they're going to learn that at the seminar that you and all our people are going to be at is how to do business correctly yeah be smart about it yep. be smart about it and it's okay if you don't have it work with what you got work with what That's you it. got maximize that example i'm bringing t-shirts down about for those who want to buy a seminar i didn't buy a whole bunch of t-shirts i said no i got to sell these to get my profit back you understand what I'm saying? And it's That's okay. It. Be honest right. where, where you at. It is okay. 
it's That's okay. And, and like Sunday always say, run your course. Do all you can do today. Don't be looking. That's why you can't be looking like, oh, she doing it. Let me know. You got to stay focused. You got to keep your eyes just like this. You yeah. know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Real talk. Yeah. And we look it all over because you get sidetracked. Yep. Yeah. And a lot so of I wanted to say, I will be giving away two free tickets off your podcast. So all you guys got to say is, you know, um, um, I want to go. Two people, they're the first two people. And then give me their names and we're going to put them on the list. And we would love to have them. I hope you guys come. $40 and 99 cents. We're going to have a great time. Again, like I said, we're going to love on each other. We gonna connect and we gonna pour into each other. We will have um, the seminars. Then we we, we have one on ones. People who want to ask questions. That's your time to get your nuggets. That's your time to ask us. And then we're gonna give you our information because I want to stay connected with y'all. Because listen here, y'all. I'm coming to Charlotte. I'm putting that other location in Charlotte. Yes. Yes. I look forward to that. I definitely mm-hmm. look forward to that. Mm-hmm. Well, family. We're getting close to that time. Everybody's coming in and stuff. We hoping that everybody's sharing this show and letting everybody hear, you know, these wise words being spoken. Hey, man. Yes, sir. I know you got one last thing. I can tell. Go ahead and drop it on you. Hey, this is like uh, Melissa has said earlier. This is the second time that we done had this young lady on. And when I say that my spiritual my spiritual vessel is full it's full I love the nuggets that you're dropping love seeing the continued success love you uh, giving back to the community and, and and the businesses that you're doing that are helping to uplift the community so um, salute to you Thank you, Charlie, for sharing. Thank you for saying that as well. She's trying to make it to to the QC coming out of the VA area, so she'd be a part of this. Another black business owner. Y'all heard it first here as well. She said, if you chime in, if you say you want to go, she's going to put two people on the list for this Saturday to be a part of this amazing seminar. So share this show, share this show. Uh Uh-oh, she just dropped. Share this show. And then make sure if the first two people get on and say they want to go, she's going to bless them with tickets to the show. Looks like she just dropped. Oh, man. Hopefully she'll be able to pop back on, y'all. Because, I mean, she was dropping some knowledge. Charlie said, happy I tuned in tonight, as always. Primily. Primily. Uh, thank you. Let's head it. Let's head it. Getting close. Oh, bless her heart. She said her phone just died. Oh, doctor. Man. Doctor. Oh, man. Um. We're going to have to have you on again. See, so you, yeah. you just open the door. You're going to have to be on the show again. She said, I'm sorry. That's, don't say sorry. You're mm-hmm. fine. Do not say sorry. You, as much as you dropped in this show, for all of our followers, all of our family members, and it's going to perpetuate and more people are going to watch it as well, you have just educated the masses. You really have. Oh, she said she would love to come. Hey, thank you. Thank you. You know, the door is always open here. If there's anything we can do as ATRT family, all you got to do is ask. Okay, Charlie. She said, if I can, I would love to make it, but told my cousin who has a business in Charlotte, he should too. Yes, he should come. If he wants to come, tell him if he chime in and say he wants to come. She will bless him with a ticket. So definitely pass the word. Man. I'm going to tell you what. Whew, I'm like, you ain't money. I'm full. Mm-hmm. So you yes. sit back and get that itis. Just yes. meditate on it's them words. So uplifting. So uplifting. Words that of encouragement and things that you need to hear. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. And I know Melly Mel, she was she was over there taking notes and stuff because you know she Mel is about to drop her thing when she drop her stuff with her business. Mm-hmm. It's just gonna be. I was. I, I'm I'm in my phone and I'm in my notes and I'm just taking things away and it's nothing like having someone to redirect God's word. Mm-hmm. That that that's all I can say. It's nothing like. Having someone 
because you never know who God's going to use to remind you. Um, hello, I put these jewels here. I put these gifts here. What are you going to do with it? Because there's certain things God will allow somebody else to do because he needed done and you didn't move fast enough. And then there's certain things that he just let sit. Right. Until you decide to trust him. And that's why sometimes people feel and seem like an overnight success. It's not so much that it's an overnight success. It's just that they've been delayed or procrastinating on using the gift that God gave them. Absolutely. So you have to make sure that you are obedient, as she stated, mm -hmm. and that you are diligent in what it is that you want to do. And trust God, because one thing that she has said repeatedly over and over again is that her faith and her obedience, her willingness and, and eagerness to hear God's instructions is the reason why she is where she is. That's she right. could be intimidated. She could be, you know, oh, well, I don't know this person. I may not look like them. I may not speak like them. But that was not her story. She said, I got out here and got it, you know. Mm -hmm. And so if anything, it has just blessed me to be encouraged to continue on doing what I need to do. Don't worry about the saturated market. That's why the market's saturated because you have so many people looking. Oh, they're doing that. I'm going to do that. She's making tumblers. I'm going to make tumblers. They're making t-shirts. I'm going to make t-shirts. They're making candles. I'm going to make candles. They're doing. And you have all these people who are copying to make the product, but they're not trying to make a business. Yeah. And that's that's what's going on. And so she's just, just clarified that if you just stick to the program, you stick to the script, you will be successful. Mm -hmm. It's not a gimmick. That's it. Well, she's chiming in. She said, that is it. It's all God. Charlie too said, right, help you focus. Thank you and amen. Um, Kenji just said, I believe they can reach out to one of us and also get blessed with the ticket. The first two people who let it be known. So again, if you contact us or if you post on uh, on Facebook, on this show and such, definitely your name will be put at the door to attend definitely what's going on with this. And let me, hey, let me, let me go ahead and do a shameless plug as well, because it's this Saturday, Saturday, August 27th, 27th. It at 10 a.m. And it's at the Venue Cave. It's at 118 East Central Avenue in Mount Holly, North Carolina. My old stomping grounds, right up the road from me. So it's this Saturday, starting at 10 a.m. It is the Charlotte Here We Come Successful Way Business Seminar with Dr. Shauna Whitehead, Sundaya Weddle, Erica Lane, Jaleesa Meisenheimer, Lonnie Davis, and former Mayor Patrick Cannon. Y'all need to be in the place this weekend. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, she says she wants to bless whoever wants to come to the show. I'm going to tell you, if you're a starting business owner, and here, here's the thing, and I think we've talked about this on the show several times as well, how brothers will get together and they'll blow $500 to $1,000 on getting a table at a, at a night spot, popping bottles and such. But just think what you could have did with that $500 or that $1,000. You could be well on the way of getting your business started. And here it is. You've got a multiple plethitude, yes, I said it, of individuals that are going to be here this weekend in order to bless everybody and show them how to do business the right way. And then even to talk to them afterwards, should you need further assistance. I think this is going to be amazing. And not just from Charlotte, because sometimes you get things that are tailored to your area, which mm -hmm. still keeps you in the pool, you know. But these are people from other areas. These are other for having different demographics, different landscapes of a city. So they have what they're telling you is how to run a business, right. not how to run a business. If you live in Charlotte or if you live here, it's this is what is going to work. So it doesn't matter if your business is in Charlotte, if you take it to New York, if you take it to 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 Atlanta, if you take it to Alexandria, Virginia, like your business is going to be successful because you have a blueprint on how to run a successful business. So it, 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 for people who want to say, oh, it's 10 o'clock in the morning. If somebody was giving tickets away for a concert, you'll be there. That's right. You get if they want to add like $50 is too much, you blow that 
on a Saturday eating lunch and dinner. That's right. Or on a bottle of liquor. Just this, I mean, let's just keep it real. Yeah. So I'm pretty sure you can invest in yourself and in your business. Think of attending this seminar as an investment. That's mm -hmm. it. If yeah. you know that you want to be successful, this is an investment in your success. That is true. And here's the thing. This is how serious this show is. This seminar is. Because when you're riding down I-85, going toward yep. Charlotte, yep. right after you pass where the airport is, yep. there's a huge billboard that is promoting yep. this thing. So this is not no mom and pop shop thing. This is serious. Because we always complain about not having a leg up. Not having an opportunity, not getting the opportunity to sit and talk to individuals that know how to navigate these waters. And here it is. It's up to you. All you got to do is come. So, hey, I want to thank uh, I want to thank Tansy once again for for uh, really connecting us again with Dr. Whitehead and um, and actually the other individuals that are actually a part of this seminar um, had to the opportunity to meet them some time ago because of her and other endeavors. So thank you, Tansy, for bringing her here. And thank you, Dr. Shauna Whitehead, for being a part of this show once again. Um, it really means a lot to have somebody of your caliber on this show. And we just ask everybody, if you get a chance, share the show, let everybody know about it. I'm sure something in this show will resonate in their spirit and they'll learn from it. And they may be, this show could be the catalyst for them to say, you know what, what doctor said, a money said, you know, what Pitbull said it has now sparked the fire in me. Let me go ahead and get started. This could be it. And I hope it is, to be honest with you. As my mama say, ain't nothing to it but to do it. <laughs> <laughs> you want to be in the room with the people, be in the room with the people. Quit talking about it. Quit scrolling. Quit being on Instagram. Quit looking at this. Quit going on YouTube. Actually take your body and put it in the room with other people so you can learn and you can see because that's what being social is. That what is that's how you network, not social media and platforms. Networking with people, networking with it. Millionaires, they only use social media to probably see who want to go to what island next. They they meet up with each other, they talk to each other. They don't just go and look at who posted what and did this. They actually meet. They get together. So get in the room. Get around it. Soak it in. Smell it. <laughs> You'll be able to learn. Charlie said, why do you think I keep coming to that at the round table? Thank you. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank Appreciate you. it. Because that was the whole precept of creating at the round table podcast show. It is the fact that we all gather at the table and we learn from each other and we gravitate to each other and we uplift each other. So thank you for saying that, Charlie Twos. Thank you, Dr. Shauna Whitehead as well for joining us. And that's it, y'all. Man, we could be on here all night, but you know what? Stomach growling, a lot of information. I still gotta edit this video because this is an amazing show. And um, we gotta get ready. So, hey, thank y'all once again, Melissa. I, you know what? Okay. We were all together last week and stuff. So now I got to do this thing. Like I'm, I think I'm pointing to a money now. So I got to go this way. You are. <laughs> Melissa, Pitbull, family, family, family. I know we got to go. I just want to let you know. Shout out to Queen Renee. Uh -oh. We did the show at the go. Dixby Compound. Queen Renee had a spread for us that was actually. It was phenomenal. It was phenomenal. And I oh, actually good. sat and y'all know I could run my mouth and sat and talked to them and did see these started yawning at the table, y'all. <laughs> but it was some good, good eating and some good conversation. I love Queen Renee so much. Queen T, we looking to have some come some of your cooking next. So yeah, yeah, let yeah. I know. let her know. Eat dinner. I let yeah. her know. Well, thank y'all once again for joining us. And again, if you get the opportunity to share the show, let it be a blessing to others. And hopefully you take it and be a catalyst to be a blessing as well to other people. We're here to uplift and encourage. It's your boy, CD, A-Money, Miss Pitbull. We'll see y'all again real soon. Y'all be blessed. Mm -hmm.
All right. Peace. Peace.